Why did you end up popping your balloon for him? He seems uh, like volatile, dangerous. Like if if I were to say like I'm not interested or something, he might accost me. Mm. What do you mean? Accost me, like belittle me or put me down if I no. like. It seems like you're not good with like a negative comment. Me? So you? Mm, no, not at all, sweetheart. Okay, well, see, that's that yeah, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just observed and I noticed that, but that's that's all. As far as you, um, you was straight, you was alright, but you got your own opinion. Can't knock you for it. Yeah. Right. That's all right. Okay. And you said she's straight. Like, is that does that mean she's someone that you would approach? Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, cool. Well. And now she's facing 16 years in prison for falsely accusing and trying to extort two different men. One of the guys she tried to falsely accuse is named Trevor Bauer. This man used to be a major league baseball pitcher and he hasn't played a game since 2021 because of false accusations and he proved both of them were wrong. But he's a victim of the mindset of guilty until proven innocent. And sometimes even if you prove your innocence, you still get punished as if you guilty. This man lost millions of dollars and can't play the sport that he dedicated his entire life to just because of two false accusers. One of the women who accused me of sexual assault just got indicted for committing felony fraud against me. Imagine that. Now, let me catch up to speed. In the last three years, two women have taken legal action against me. Uh, Lindsay Hill started all this, you may remember her from this video, as the girl who set me up and lied to the world in an attempt to take my money. Before he keeps telling the story, just to add a little context, the first girl who falsely accused him was named Lindsay Hill. Here's the story. Next victim, star pitcher for the Dodgers. A text Lindsay Hill sent to a friend before she ever even met me. What should I steal? She asked another, in reference to visiting my house for the first time. The answer? Take his money. So how might that work? I'm going to his house Wednesday, she said. I already have my hooks in. You know how I roll. Then, after the first time we met, net worth is 51 mil, she said. Bitch, you better secure the bag, was the response. Uh, but, but how was she gonna do that? Need daddy to choke me out, she said. Being an absolute whore to try to get in on his 51 million. Read another text. In a separate agreement, Hill's insurance company, which had covered her defense, will pay her $300,000 record show. In a statement, Hill's lawyer, Brian Friedman, called it an outstanding resolution for Lindsay, saying neither Lindsay nor anyone on her behalf paid anything to Bauer, not a single dollar. Even better, Lindsay received $300,000 from her insurance company. Based on that payment, Lindsay agreed to settle the lawsuit. Hill said in an interview with The Post, despite Bauer's claims that she plotted to derail his career for financial gain, her allegations were never about money. I'm finally free from his grip, and to be able to move forward with my life is better than anything money could ever give me, truly. The fact that she didn't get a punishment and actually got $300,000 for falsely accusing a man is crazy. And then she gonna try to say it wasn't all about money. He never got proven guilty, so the only thing she got from this situation was $300,000, and she's saying she's happy because she gets to move on with her life. Sounds like it was about Today, money to the me. The only other one, Darcy Don Asimono, has been criminally indicted for committing felony fraud against me and another man. So now she's facing up to 16 years in prison. Her claims are even more absurd than Lindsay's were, so here's some of the details. We had one plain sexual encounter in December of 2020, nothing that could be considered remotely rough. Uh, she initiated it, but don't take my word for it, take hers. This is a picture and text message she sent me the next morning explaining why she came on to me. And for months afterwards, she repeatedly requested to sleep with me again. Uh, for example, this text from January 7th, 2021. At one point, she even requested a sample of my sperm so she could have my child whenever she wanted to in the future. Now, it's hard to keep track, but she's made at least four seven-figure demands over the last few years. Uh, more than a year after the one time we slept together, and only after Lindsay Hill made up her false allegations, Adana retained a lawyer. Uh, she then demanded $3.6 million and claimed I forced her to have an abortion, leaving her emotionally devastated and irretrievably damaged by it. But uh, here's the thing, she never had an abortion because she was never even pregnant, and that's corroborated by her own medical records. When I refused to pay her the $3.6 million she was asking for, she made up a bogus sexual assault claim and filed a civil suit against me. In that version of her story, she claimed, for the first time by the way, uh, that there was non-consensual sex, but her texts from the next morning show what actually happened. Remember this text in which she explains why she came on to me? Uh, she also claims that instead of an abortion, she actually had a miscarriage, but that's impossible of course because again, she was never even pregnant. 
Now, we now have emails between her and the first two law firms that dropped her in which they acknowledge they never had any evidence to support her claims, but they'll try to get my money anyway. I then shared an audio recording I have in which Adana contradicts her own claims and asks me for money. In the emails, her lawyers agreed that that's insurmountable evidence and they inform Adana that they can no longer represent her unless she can provide documentation or proof of her claims. Yeah, of course, she couldn't do that, so the law firm urged her to consult other law firms with different standards. Now, Adana has filed more than 10 police reports claiming sexual assault or harassment against other men, including at least one other professional athlete. But after the Scottsdale police completed their investigation into her claim against me, she's the one being indicted for felony fraud. And not just against me, against another man as well. Now, she made up bogus sexual assault claims and attempted to extort him too. And it gets worse. In my lawsuit against her, we subpoenaed a witness whom she knew for relevant documents to use in our case. And when she found out, she immediately made sexual assault claims against him too. Uh, her MO is clear. Lie to men to get their money, extort them if she must, and when they refuse to pay, stop paying or stop giving her what she wants, go to the police, accuse them of sexual assault, and file a civil suit against them to retaliate. And just so no one can say, well, he still has two other accusers, just because the first two are complete frauds doesn't mean the others are. Here's a couple facts about them. They both had lawyers first demand in excess of $3 million to not go public. Uh, in both cases, only after I refused to pay any sum of money did their lawyers make anonymous claims in the media. They both had the opportunity to file a criminal complaint against me. Neither of them did. They both had the opportunity to file a civil suit against me. Neither of them did. They both had the opportunity to participate in Lindsay Hill's civil suit against me. They could have even done so anonymously. They both refused. One of them even submitted a statement to the court stating that she never made public accusations against me. The other refused to participate so vehemently that Lindsay Hill took legal action against her trying to force her to participate. She still refused. So they both had the opportunity to testify under penalty of perjury. Neither of them did. One can only wonder why. Perhaps it's because all of their claims against me are lies. Now, it's been two years since these women and their lawyers attempted to weaponize anonymous claims in the media against me to take my money. I addressed them at the time, and as far as I'm concerned, it's in the past. But if there comes a time in the future where I need to defend myself further, I will not hesitate to do so. Uh, for now, there's no reason to speak further on this topic, though, because outside of Adana, who's now been indicted with felony fraud, there are no claims against me, no ongoing investigations, and no outstanding lawsuits. At this point, I'm not sure what else I can possibly do to prove my innocence in all this. I did not do what I was accused of. And every institution that our society is entrusted to rule on issues like these, like courts, judges, law enforcement officers, prosecutors, they all agree with me. They've rejected every single claim made against me, even going as far as charging one of my accusers with a felony. If any evidence of any of these claims actually existed, I would have been charged, or at the very least arrested. But that never happened. What else do I have to do to prove that this entire situation has been a massive lie? This is insane. At what point do I get to go back to work and continue earning a living? And that's why I don't promote male promiscuity, especially if you a man with any kind of money and any kind of influence. Just because you can don't mean you should. Women get power from men through sex, and it don't matter how powerful you are as a man, you're always one false accusation away from having your entire life ruined. Bruno Mars, I ain't found a girl that I'll catch a grenade for, but I found a bitch I throw a grenade at. What the fuck? That man is playing a dangerous game. Women claim they don't belong in the kitchen, but they're always cold. Obviously, their bodies have evolved to be around stoves and ovens all the time. So if your wife says she does not belong in the kitchen, let her know that she's a science denier. You're probably not finding love because you're the problem. And God is protecting other people from you. Also, if you dated five people and all of them are bad people, you need to self-reflect because you're the common denominator. Some guys think it's all about being nice and then they get taken advantage of because they don't set boundaries. If you're allowing yourself to be taken advantage of, that's a you problem. What do you think about me being a woman, 33, never married and having no children? Do you think I did something wrong or do you think that I was smart enough to preserve my womanhood? I don't know. I don't know you well enough to it's uh, really uh, got a lot to do with your personality and you know, cause did you not do that because you were driven and ambitious trying to establish yourself successfully as, you know, in your life? Or is you just fucked up and I don't want to fuck with you? I don't know enough about you really to gauge that question. That's so fair. Just never found the right guy, I guess. Well, you probably have. You probably turned the nigga on. Women find the potential right now. A woman can walk down the street and 10 niggas try to holler. Now, if you don't fuck with damn one of them niggas, I didn't meet the right one. Yes, you did find it, bitch. <laughs> 
Now that's facts, though. You just stupid than the mother. I don't know if I agree with that. Yeah, but I, I see your agree opinion. With it because because you, you you dealing from a place of emotion, and I'm telling you from a place of life. Exactly. Love ain't for everybody. Everybody ain't going to find love. And some people already found love. They just cheated on them. And then they be saying, I'm waiting for God to send me a good man. He already sent you a good man, but he was only 5'7", so you rejected him. And you struggling because you dating men based on their looks instead of their morality. Jesus Christ was only 5'5". Five five. Jesus could be walking the earth, and he would get rejected by women because they don't because he doesn't meet their look standard let me know in the comments below if this video was a w or a l and give me the hbo special that's a help brother out special hit the like and the subscribe button for more content till next time